So this video is going to be about Lil Peep and Jake Paul. This video might be shocking for some people because a lot of people wouldn't expect Jake Paul to be one of Lil Peep's characters. But if you pay close attention, this one is actually very easy to see. You know, when I first saw this picture right here, the more I looked at Lil Peep, he started to look so much like Jake Paul. And a lot of people noticed this when they saw this picture. So once I saw this, I couldn't unsee it. So here's a comparison of Jake Paul and Lil Peep. And many of you have asked me to make an updated video on Lil Peep. So I've done a lot of research and these two characters have so much in common. This video is going to blow your mind. Before I get into the video, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you guys can help spread the word on this because that will help the video reach new people. And thank you to everyone that shares my videos because we really need to get the word out about this. You know, a lot of people were very sad and depressed when Lil Peep faked his death. You know, a lot of people think it was real. But at the end of the day, they're deceiving us with these death fakers. Celebrities have a big impact on some people's lives. There was many people that started taking Zans and a bunch of other drugs when Lil Peep died. So Lil Peep's main agenda was to make it popular for kids to do drugs. You know, around this time, Zans were a really popular drug. And Lil Peep was a big reason for that. And towards the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys some Gematria because Lil Peep's name is connected to Zans in Gematria. But anyways, as you guys can see right here, Lil Peep and Jake Paul have the same eyes. They have very creepy, soulless eyes. And right here, they're staring at the camera in the same way. And Lil Peep is obviously inverted. You know, in this picture right here, he looks like a male and a female at the same time. And all celebrities are inverted, but Lil Peep really pushed that agenda. You know, if you look at his character, he was very emo and he was very confusing because when you look at him, he looks like a male and a female at the same time. And with some characters, it's easier to see that. Like him, for example, he blatantly put that out there. So in this comparison right here, they look so much alike. You know, this one is very easy to see. And even though there's many people on Twitter that noticed how much Lil Peep and Jake Paul look alike, there's still a lot of people that would never make the connection because Jake Paul and Lil Peep are in two completely different spectrums. You know what I mean? Like Lil Peep's fan base is completely different from Jake Paul's fan base. Jake Paul's fan base is mainly kids and Lil Peep's fan base is mainly teenagers who are now adults. So they have two completely different fan bases, especially considering the fact that Jake Paul was on Disney Channel and Lil Peep came out as this underground rapper. And I don't really like calling them underground rappers because they purposely put that image out there so that people think they're real and they really struggle to come up and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, they're all industry plants. Their come up is never organic. But anyways, as you guys can see by this comparison right here, Lil Peep and Jake Paul look so much alike. The only difference is that Jake Paul has a little more facial hair than Lil Peep. But other than that, they look so much alike. And especially right here with younger pictures of Jake Paul, you can really see it. Right here, you can really see that they have the same head shape. So here's another really good comparison. So let's look at some comparisons of their eyes because that really gives it away with this one. These two characters have the same eyes. So here's some comparisons of their eyes. You know, right here, they're posing the same way. So you can really see how similar their eyes are. And of course, Lil Peep is doing symbolism in plain sight. And he even paints his nails. You know, he really pushed that agenda way before any other rappers were doing that. And back then, it wasn't really common for rappers to paint their nails like that. So he started that trend. You know, shortly after he died, we started seeing a lot more rappers that were emo and painting their nails and stuff like that. And all of them look like females. But anyways, here's some more comparisons of their eyes. Right here, you can really see that their eyes are exactly the same. Like this comparison right here is really creepy because there's no denying that they have the same exact eyes and their face is extremely similar, man. It's really creepy. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But this one is very easy to see. You know, Jake Paul is trying to wear a disguise by growing out his beard like this and becoming a boxer. So he's trying to be way different than Lil Peep so that people wouldn't notice. But there's still many similarities that we can see. Right here, they're posing in the same way and they look exactly alike. And even though Lil Peep dresses way differently from Jake Paul, you can still see the resemblance because they have the same eyes. And right here, Lil Peep is dressed very feminine. You know, I don't like that about his character. 
characters like that are really pushing that invert agenda on kids and inverts really confuse kids because they don't know if that's a male or a female so now let's take a look at their side profile because right here you can really see the resemblance you know they look so much alike from the side and another similarity with these characters is their tattoos and they have very weird tattoos and some of them are in the same places like for example right here both have a tattoo above their ear it's on the left side of their head none of their tattoos are random by the way every single tattoo that they get has some kind of symbolic meaning behind it and in some cases if it's a word it has a lot of dramatia linked to that character so later on when i break down lil peep's tattoos you guys are going to see why he has certain tattoos on his face this comparison right here is completely undeniable it's very mind-blowing how much they look alike right here lil peep has many tattoos so that can really throw some people off but if you just focus on his face he looks so much like jake paul and what i noticed about this character is he has these flags tatted on the left side of his head and of course it has the black and white masonic checkerboard pattern but there's a deeper meaning to this tattoo because many death fakers have that tattoo for example nipsey hustle has the same exact tattoo on his neck and this tattoo is symbolic to the end because they use these flags at the end of a race you know when somebody finishes the race they wave these flags around so that's probably why a lot of death fakers have that same tattoo and nipsey hustle used to always say the marathon continues so he's definitely referencing the meaning behind this tattoo a lot and i made a video about nipsey hustle six months ago by the way make sure you go watch that video if you haven't the link to this video is in the description below but anyways let's move on to some more comparisons so again their side profile is exactly the same right here so that was all the comparisons that i made i'm sure all of you guys can see the resemblance and also another connection between these two characters is the fact that they both make music jake paul was making a lot of music at one point in time in his career but a big similarity that i noticed with these characters if you listen to lil peep's music closely and you pay close attention to his voice he sounds exactly like jake paul and it's really going to creep you out so even though i don't recommend listening to lil peep's music because it's very depressing but if you want to do further research on this i recommend listening to like one or two songs and pay close attention to his voice because you'll start to hear jake paul's voice so that's a big connection right there they literally have the same voice now let's take a look at some of jake paul's tweets every time he posts a new video he makes a tweet about it and he says new vid and then he says peep it and i found that very ironic because his other character is lil peep and he's always saying peep it you know he has hundreds of tweets where he posts a new video and he says new vid peep it and although peep does mean like watch you know it's still very ironic that he always uses the word peep it when he's promoting his new videos so he has hundreds of tweets doing this but i'm just showing you guys a couple so that you guys can see what i'm talking about and he still does it to this day every time he posts a new video he still says go peep so this is a tweet from three days ago and he said go peep his new video so he's always using that word you know and that's a big connection because his other character's name is literally lil peep so here we got lil peep doing one eye symbolism in plain sight and jake paul is clearly doing symbolism right here jake paul's career started on vine and then somehow he made it to disney channel and i found that very weird you know they gave him a big push in his career early on so this shows that they really wanted to push this character on children because disney's main audience was kids so they've been promoting him to children very early on and then right here lil peep was doing predictive programming that he was going to fake his death because i think he has saran wrap all over his face and this can easily cause suffocation so he was letting us know that he was going to fake his death so right here you can see all of jake paul's strange tattoos right here he has a skull with an octopus which is very strange and then he has like these snakes on his other arm so he has a lot of very symbolic tattoos and then right here he has a very interesting tattoo so i have another picture where you guys can see it more clearly so it has chinese letters and then it says for loyalty then it says quote unquote human 656 and this is a very symbolic tattoo because it's like he's letting us know that his vessel was created somewhere you know he's number 656 
And it's like he's trying to prove that he's human. You know, humans don't have to prove that they're human. And then he also has Cleveland, Ohio, USA, 1997, which is where he was born. So I feel like this tattoo is basically letting us know that his vessel was created in Cleveland, Ohio in 1997 and that his vessel was the 656th vessel made in this lab or whatever he was created in. So I started to question why does he have the number 656? You know, at first I thought it was 666, but when I really added up the numbers, it all made sense. So 6 plus 5 is 11 and 11 plus 6 is 17. So the numerology of 656 is 17. And the number 17 is a big connection to Jake Paul and Lil Peep because Jake Paul's birthday is January 17th and Lil Peep died in 2017. And the numerology of Lil Peep's date of death is also 17 because if you add 11 plus 1 plus 5, you get 17. And then kill equals 17. So that explains why they have so many connections to the number 17. Let's look at Jake Paul's real name. So Jake Paul's full name is Jake Joseph Paul. And Jake Joseph Paul equals 75, just like Lil Peep. So both of these characters have the same gematria. And also Peep is four letters and Paul is four letters as well. And they both start with a P. So there's a lot of similarities with these characters. Now let's look at Lil Peep's real name. So his full name is Gustav Elijah R. So his last name R matches up with Jake. They both equal 27 in the same cipher. And keep in mind Lil Peep died November 15, 2017. And when you type in November 15, 2017 in Gematria, it equals 147, just like Joseph Paul. And right here it says that Lil Peep's cause of death was an accidental overdose of fentanyl and Xanax. And Jake Paul's middle name Joseph matches up with Xanax and dies. All three of these words share the number 26 in the same cipher. So even though Jake Paul doesn't really do drugs like that, his name is still heavily connected to drugs because his other character was Lil Peep and his cause of death was obviously drugs. So Joseph equals 26, right? And the numerology of Lil Peep's date of death is 26. So this was Lil Peep's last post before he died. And he's taking two Zans in this picture. And then his caption said F it. And he spelled the F word with two C's. And the F word with two C's equals 26 and 37. And dies equals 26 and 37 as well. And then Xanax equals 26 as well. But it's interesting that this caption equals 37 because the numerology of Lil Peep's birthday is 37. So that's a big connection right there. And also this shows that all of their captions are completely scripted. They purposely misspell things like this so that it can equal certain things in Gematria. And even when you spell it correctly, it still links up to a lot of things. So F it spelled correctly equals 38, just like fentanyl and murder. And like I just showed you guys, his cause of death was fentanyl. So his last caption is very connected to his cause of death. All right, so Lil Peep died in Tucson, Arizona, right? Tucson and his caption F it have the same exact gematria. They both equal 70 and 92 in the same ciphers. So again, this really shows how scripted this character is. You know, his death was 100% scripted because what are the chances that he makes this caption and then he dies in Tucson, Arizona and Tucson has the same gematria as his caption. So it's really nasty how they script this out because... A normal person wouldn't think that his caption was scripted, you know what I mean? Because that's not something that humans do. You know, we don't naturally script out our life like this. And keep in mind that F it and Tuxin both equal 70 because the multiplication numerology of Lil Peep's date of death is 70. And then Tuxin AZ, which is where he died, matches up with his date of death and his cause of death, which is fentanyl. So this is really creepy. You know, the place he died equals 119 and his date of death equals 119 in the same cipher and fentanyl equals 119 as well. And then Tuxin AZ, which is where he died, equals 97 and fentanyl equals 97. And 97 is an interesting number because death equals 97 as well. And Jake Paul was born in 1997. Alright, so right here it says that Lil Peep's cause of death was accidental drug overdose. 
And they use these specific words on purpose because accidental drug overdose has the same gematria as Lil Peep's real name. Gustav R equals 126 and his cause of death equals 126 as well. And keep in mind that Lil Peep's birthday is November 1st, 1996. And right here it says that he died of an accidental overdose of fentanyl. And fentanyl is a powerful opioid. And when I looked it up, opioid and his birthday and death hoax and Halloween all have the same gematria. They all share the number 41 in the same cipher. And this is very interesting because Lil Peep's birthday is November 1st which is basically Halloween because Halloween is celebrated on the night of October 31st, which transitions into November 1st. So technically, Lil Peep was born on Halloween, and it's kind of creepy that his birthday matches up with death hoax, Halloween, and his cause of death. And this number 41 is very connected to a lot of things with these characters, because if you flip it around, it's 14, and he died 14 days after his birthday, because his birthday is November 1st, and he died on November 15th. And then dead also equals 14 in two different ciphers. And then Jake Paul's last name Paul equals 14 and 22. And dead equals 14 and 22. Alright, so his other cause of death was Xanax, right? And Xanax is a benzodiazepine. But we're just going to call it benzo for short. And benzo equals 65. And his date of death equals 65 as well. And then benzo sedative equals 115 and killing equals 115 so this really shows that these drugs were specifically created to kill people because why would the name match up with killing you know what i mean but anyways moving along another big connection with the number 115 the numerology of jake paul's birthday is 115 so the chances of all of this being a coincidence is one in a million you guys the numerology of jake paul's birthday is 115 then his other character Cause of death is benzo sedatives, which also equal 115, just like killing. And then keep in mind, J. Paul's birthday is in January. January and Lil Peep's first name have the same gematria of 90 in the same cipher. And then his cause of death was accidental overdose of fentanyl, which equals 148, just like Halloween and his birthday. And then fentanyl overdose equals 74 just like his name, Gus R, and Found Dead, both equal 74 as well. And then Jake Paul's name is connected to Drug, Died, and Zans. They all share the number 23, and this makes sense because his other character did a lot of drugs and he died from Zans. And then Paul equals 50, 58, and 22, just like Drug, all in the same cipher too. And then Lil Peep died at age 21, right? So let's look at all of the connections with the number 21. So Lil equals 21 and Lil is part of his stage name. And then Peep equals 12 and 12 is just a reverse of 21. And then the numerology of his birthday is 12. And then GBC and Zan also equal 12. And GBC is an acronym for Goth Boy Click. And Goth Boy Click is the group that he was in. And now let's dissect his tattoos. So right here on his face, he has a tattoo that says Get Cake. Get Cake equals 137. And his date of death equals 137. And then Get Cake also equals 38. Just like Fentanyl and Murder in the same cipher. And then his other tattoo says Die Young. Which is very ironic because this character ended up dying young. Die Young equals 35 and OD equals 35. And obviously, he died of an OD. And then the numerology of Jake Paul's birthday is also 35. And then he has this big tattoo that says Crybaby. And Crybaby equals 113 and 41. And Overdose equals 113 and 41. And November equals 41, all in the same cipher. And he overdosed in November. And then Lil Peep and Passed Away have the same exact gematria. They both equal 114 and 33. And then Lil Peep equals 39. And Zan equals 39. And Peep equals 24 and 66. Drugs equals 24 and 66. And Pass Away also equals 24. And then Peep is very connected to his birthday and his date of death. They all share the number 66. 
So this is really creepy, man. This really shows how scripted this character was. And it's like his whole character was just scripted to die. Because his first name, Gustav, equals 18 in the same cipher as Die. And then his last name, R, also equals 18, just like Die. And then the numerology of his birthday is 18. And on top of that, the numerology of his date of death is also 18. And then to top it off, the numerology of Jake Paul's birthday is 18 as well. So this is 100% proof that Lil Peep is Jake Paul. You know, the fact that both of their birthdays have a numerology of 18. And then Lil Peep's date of death also has a numerology of 18. None of this is a coincidence. These two characters are so connected because they're the same. And then Lil Peep's real name, Gustav Elijah R, equals 63, just like Drug Overdose. And then the numerology of his date of death is also 63. And then his middle name, Elijah, equals 36, just like Kills. And then the numerology of his date of death is 36. And then his middle name and his last name, Elijah R, equal 171, just like Drug Overdose in the same cipher. And then a lot of people call him Gus for short. And Gus equals 47 and 34. And Fake Death equals 34 and 47. And Fentanyl equals 34. And the numerology of Lil Peep's date of death is 34. And the numerology of Jake Paul's birthday is 34 as well. So again, this is not a coincidence, you guys. These two characters are clearly connected. So Lil Peep died on November 15, right? November 15 has the same gematria as killed. So he was scripted to be killed on this exact date because they have the same gematria. And then he overdosed in November. And Overdose and November have the same gematria. And then the numerology of his date of death is 25. And death equals 25. And then Gus Elijah, which is his name, equals 38. In the same cipher as found dead. And he ended up being found dead on his tour bus. And right here it says that Lil Peep died on his tour bus before a scheduled performance in Tucson. His second to last scheduled show on a 33 date tour of the United States. So this 33 date tour is scripted because they specifically did 33 days for a reason. You know, Lil Peep equals 33, Masonry equals 33, Passed Away is 33, and Cleveland is 33, all in the same cipher. And Jake Paul is from Cleveland, Ohio. So that's why Cleveland is connected to this. But Cleveland, Ohio is also connected to Goth Boy Click. And then it's also connected to Pennsylvania. They all equal 64 in the same cipher. And Lil Peep is from Allentown, Pennsylvania. That's where he was born. Allentown, Pennsylvania has the same gematria as Lil Peep's first name and rapper. So this shows that the place he was born, the city and the state, was scripted so that it can match up with his name and his career. And then Pennsylvania also matches up with Goth Boy Click kill and xanax and then allentown pennsylvania equals 43 and murdered equals 43 and tucks in az where he died also equals 43 and az is the abbreviation for arizona az equals 27 just like his last name r in the same cipher and then lil peep died in arizona so what are the chances that lil peep and arizona have the same gematria in the same cipher they both equal 39 in the reduction cipher. And like I said, he died in Arizona, right? And the big connection to Jake Paul is the fact that two days ago, Jake Paul had a fight in Glendale, Arizona. So this is clearly a connection to Lil Peep because Lil Peep dies in Arizona. And then Jake Paul has a fight in Arizona. But it gets deeper than that because Lil Peep's birthday is November 1st, right? And this fight happened on the 29th of October. So Jake Paul had a fight three days before Lil Peep's birthday. Do you guys really think that's a coincidence? And on top of that, this fight was on the 29th for a reason. Because Lil Peep's name equals 29. Tucks in AZ where he died equals 29. And then Jake Paul is from Ohio. And Ohio equals 29. And then Sam Hain equals 29. And if you guys don't know... The ancient origins of Halloween. Halloween's origins date back to the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain 
and Samhain is actually pronounced Sowin. The Celts who lived 2,000 years ago celebrated their new year on November 1st. So technically Halloween is on November 1st according to the ancient origins of Halloween. So that's why Lil Peep was born on November 1st. And by the way, me and Divine Sade have a really good exclusive video exposing the true hidden origins of Halloween on our Patreon. So if you guys are interested in that video, the link to our Patreon is in the description below. And that video is really creepy. You guys will get the detailed explanation about the sinister truth behind Halloween. You know, it's not just this fun holiday where kids get candy. You know, there's a lot more sinister things that happen on that night. So make sure you guys go watch that video. The link to our Patreon is in the description below. So Halloween and Lil Peep's birthday have the same gematria. They both equal 148 in the same cipher. So this deity is heavily connected to Halloween. So that's why he's a very creepy character. And he dresses very weird. And his music videos are very creepy as well. And they have a lot of occultic symbolism. And last connection between Jake Paul and Lil Peep is the fact that their birthdays are only 77 days apart. Lil Peep was born November 1st, 1996. And Jake Paul was born January 17th, 1997, which is exactly 77 days later. So these characters were created around the same time. And last thing I want to talk about with Jake Paul, he has a lot of duality symbolism. So for example, right here, his entire outfit is duality. You know, the right side of his outfit is black. As you guys can see, his right glove is black. And then the right side of his shorts are black. And then his right shoe is black. And all of the left side is white. So this duality symbolism represents a lot of things. And it's showing half good, half evil. And these deities love to play both sides. And even on his profile picture, you can see that half of his profile picture is white. And then the right half of his profile picture is black. So he really puts it in plain sight. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to drop a like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my Patreon. The links are in the description below. I recommend you guys go watch our video about Halloween on our Patreon. Because more people should know the true meaning behind Halloween. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'm out.